Hi, my name is Marissa Ross and I'm a social media strategist. A social media strategist basically builds strategies for a client, a business, maybe in this case a band. In this day and age, uh, there's so much new technology that musicians can use not only to produce their own music, but to also cut out the middleman and promote their own music online. Social media has a huge impact on bands. For example, a band could get their music up on a very influential music website. That one website will reach hundreds of thousands of people that year. That music goes out to not only all the people that read the blog, but also the influential people of the music industry that watch those blogs to see what's coming up. So a band that you maybe just barely heard of last year, this year could be in every single magazine, have a huge record deal, basically because of blogs and because of social media. So first things first, I think one of the most important ways to succeed in social media with your band is to first get your music out there. One of the best websites, I think, is a website called Bandcamp.com. Bandcamp allows you to sell your songs, but it also provides a media player for every single song that's embeddable on virtually any website platform. You can put your whole album up there and the album could be for sale, but say I want to write about track number six, I can put that on my blog and I can add that to the bottom of it so my readers can not only read about it, but they can also listen to it without having to buy it right away. After you get your music up on the web, it's really important to know who to send your music to. What I would suggest doing is using different blog searches to find out what blogs are talking about other bands in your genre. I would recommend using blog searches such as Hype Machine or Elbows or even just Google blog search and just find out who's talking about your genre and send them some promotional links. What's really important for a band these days is to get a Twitter account. It's honestly the best way to promote not only your personal brand, but to really create a fan base by being personable and relatable. It's also important for bands to get a blog. Tumblr is a very user-friendly blogging platform that allows you to post basically anything just right at the top. It has text, audio, photo, quote, whatever. So you can just go on there and real quickly give a little recap of your night to your followers. A Facebook fan page is one of the most efficient ways to get out a lot of information to a lot of people very quickly. Facebook has a really great reach for bands because for every single person that clicks like on your fan page, that shows up in their feed of all their friends. And there's over 500 million people on Facebook. Why not give yourself a chance to be promoted to a 16th of those people? Even that's a lot, but. <laughs> <laughs> One of the really inspiring things about social media is being able to see the do-it-yourself spirit in artists, which has always been there. But I think that there was a transition at some point where music was taken over by corporations and a lot of that spirit was taken away. But now you don't need that. You don't need anyone saying, we're gonna sell your music like this and you need to record it like that because you can record it on your computer and you can promote it yourself. So what's the point of not?